Hello, everyone, and welcome to the last episode of Weird DMs for 2021. Don't worry, series isn't going anywhere. At least I don't think. Regardless, we have to just recognize for a second what amazing things we've discovered in this series. I made my cousin fall in love with me so he would divorce his wife. The extended oxygen deprivation did a number on his brain, and he still struggles with long words and complicated tasks to this day. I didn't really mean to kill him. I just wanted to get back at him somehow. I would unsubmit most of her major assignments after she posted them and delete them from all her files. If you're new here, basically I have this email where people send me really traumatic things that tend to fall in some kind of theme. And something that we've discovered in this series is that there are many shared human experiences that we think are unique. We think attempted murder is unique, something that is reserved for a Netflix documentary, but no. Uh, we've discovered that a lot of people share the experience of trying to kill their crush's new interest, you know, which is wild. That just means there are people out there that do what we're all thinking. And do we applaud that? Not necessarily. But is it worth learning about while eating lunch or taking a slush? Yeah, yeah, it is. That's also something we've realized this year. I asked you guys, have you ever received a gift that was terrible? You know, could have been a verbal gift or something soul crushing. And we're going to find out. I think we got about 30 emails here and you all know. Will we read them all? Probably not. Is a dog going to get hurt? Probably. What the dog doing? So with that said, let's end this year of Weird DMs with Weird DMs, horrible holiday presents. By the way, if you didn't know, I'm going back out on tour. NoelMillerLive.com. <laughs> noelmillerlive.com go buy your tickets they're moving very quickly uh, shows are selling out austin sold out part of boston sold out canada sold out so get some tickets um you know you can just put all the cities right here just sold out run through them all and yeah i hope to see you there all right let's do this number one it's long this is good what am i saying how the grinch ruined my sex this isn't a reference to chlamydia or something like that is it we'll find out for christmas of my senior year of high school this Christmas, we will learn nothing of anything that a teenager did sexually in high school. All right, that's what we're doing on this video. So, <laughs> moving on. I got a wake up call. A girl gave me deodorant in seventh grade Secret Santa. Uh, should tell you what kind of person I used to be back then. <laughs> I like my, uh, my replies here. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I always say deodorant is such a great passive aggressive gift. Deodorant, a toothbrush, floss, anything hygienic is a real nice, just, it's a nice little pocket knife stab and twist. That's why I don't have a P.O. box. I know all of you would take advantage of that and send me hair loss treatment products this year and, uh, uh-uh, not gonna get me. My grandpa is the worst. Christmas edition. <laughs> so he's, he's awful year round. Nice. Hey, Noel. This is not my story, but my mother's. Let's take it back to the mid 90s. My parents have recently wed, and Christmas is right around the corner. Come Christmas morning, and my mother finds out that her new father in law, feeling especially festive, went out and bought a massive box of thongs for her to celebrate their wedding. Well, you know what they say. They want. Some are Christmas themed, some are crotchless, some are edible. Truly the works. He tells her with open glee that he had such a fun, naughty time picking them out himself. Needless to say, my parents are divorced and I don't see my grandfather much anymore uh, because he's now dating my mom. That's not in there. Especially not after he told me I had good child birthing hips. Yeah, that's... That's a gift, all right? Dementia seems awful. There's nothing that ruins an old man's legacy worse than dementia. It just undoes all their filters, and then they just start unloading all those awful things that they've kept in for 60 or 70 years. And then, surprise, Grandpa likes incest. We didn't know that for 60 years, but on year 61, we found that out, and uh, that's great. Now, just to play unethical devil's advocate, um, if his son looks like him, Okay, he may feel like he has a shot. His son is the expansion pack. You know, might have some new features, but he's the core game. So he's looking at that relationship thinking, eh, my son's kind of soft. It may not last. Why don't I just... That's gross. All right, all right, I'll move on. I'll move on. You know, maybe now's a good time to thank the sponsor of this video. Rhino Shield. They make sleek, protective cases for your phone. And trust me, they are sleek. Uh, I would know because I have so 
many cases from them. They offer a bunch of different designs, customization options, and they even have a bunch of co-branded exclusive case collections. Uh, they got stuff with NBA, NASA, and a ton more. They offer a bunch of different case styles, bunch of colors. You can even change the buttons on the case if you want. You can even design your own case with photos, your name, and text. They even have customizable cases for an Apple Watch, AirPods, so they can actually match the case that's on your phone. If you're someone who drops their phone a lot, uh, they have extreme impact protection. Uh, not only are the Rhino Shield cases very strong, but they also offer an impact screen protector uh, to make sure your phone is good when you're out and about, or maybe just even in your own place. They ship worldwide and they do free shipping on all qualified orders. They have a lifetime replacement warranty for their cases, and it's available for all iPhones and a lot of Android flagship devices. So if you're interested, you can head over to Rhino Shield and use my promo code NOEL. Now for the next week and only the next week, they're going to do 20% off. And after that, it'll be 10% off. So click the link in the description to take advantage of that. And remember, that's 20% off using my promo code NOEL just for this next week and 10% thereafter. All right. Now let's get back into the video. Look at this Game of Thrones story right here. The white elephant gift that stole my salvation. Wow. I hope this brings a smile to your face, you sick bastard. Hey, hey, hey. I know my dad. My immediate family, including myself, has a dark, twisted sense of humor, which can be quite destructive at times. Our family participates in a white elephant gift exchange every year with our local church group, and we all have to bring a present. A couple years ago, when traveling back home from college, I forgot to buy a present for the exchange, to which my sister let me know that she would take care of it. I didn't really think much of the situation, and I was just grateful I didn't have to shell out any cash for a present that year. At our church party, the white elephant exchange began and all the picking and trading was initiated. In all the chaos of the exchange, I noticed that our church minister had somehow ended up with my gift that my sister bought. Once all the trading came to a stop, it was time for our minister to open his gift. Everyone there waited and watched as he began to inspect the wrapped package. To my absolute horror, I looked over and noticed my sister and my entire family had their faces in their palms and my dad actually got up and left the room. <laughs> I watched as my minister opened the package and began to unfold a three foot by five foot flag and held it up so we could all see. Pain. The custom flag was a featured graphic of Santa with my face photoshopped on his clapping cheeks with a reindeer dog and a large caption that read, I'm so good. Santa came twice. <laughs> you should have just owned it, man. You should have just broke down in tears and screamed out to the room, there's a reason the reindeer's name is Vixen, okay? I can't help it. <laughs> Dad gave me his Father's Day present. Mm, this should be interesting. I wonder if this is like a passive aggressive thing where he re-gifted what he was gifted. So my dad has always been quantity over quality when it comes to Christmas gifts. He's literally the type of guy to grab things in my room, wrap them up, put them under the tree. He's done that before. It's not because he can't afford a few nicer presents, it's just that he'd rather give me 30 bullshit gifts so I have more stuff to open. <laughs> Kind of a good strategy, you know, just keep you distracted so you won't notice that he didn't get you anything or he got you very little. I like that. Sometimes I would have things go missing in November and open them up on Christmas. This man has gifted me crazy things like old school uniforms, toothpicks, used deodorant, cough drops, etc. <laughs> is this some type of disease? You know, is there a condition for this where, you know, a seven year old part of your brain just doesn't grow up and, and you just retain this, you know, same behavior? You know, kind of like my humor. I think the most out-of-pocket thing he got me was a blanket that I gave him for Father's Day a few years prior. My mom and I stayed up working hard all night putting it together to give it to him. After I gave it to him, I never saw it again until Christmas, about five years later, when I opened it as a gift from him. Dude didn't even make the connection. He was over here asking if I liked it. I was clearly annoyed and finally said something. His excuse was that he was giving it back to me so that we could share it now. He later admitted that he totally forgot where the blanket was from, found it in the basement, and thought it would be <laughs> something for me to open. I was pissed at first, but now my mom and I laugh about that and all the other weird shit he gets me every year. Oh, so your dad's not crazy. You know, maybe you just live in a suburban home and... You guys are like low-key hoarding, so there's just tons of shit in there. And he's like, well, why go shopping? We live in a Goodwill. I can just, you know. <laughs> hey, Noel, this is short and tame, but last year my mom wrapped a pair of scissors for my <laughs> gift last Christmas. It wasn't a joke gift at all. She was hurt when I laughed. Years previous, she's given me and wrapped a toothbrush, and my uncles have gotten light bulbs and bars of soap before. All wrapped like normal presents put under the tree. I asked for AirPods. <laughs> and she's asking you and your family to take a shower and cut your hair. 
Just one time. Just think about it. Just maybe get a haircut. Your split ends look bad. Okay. Sorry to show in Philly, man. Awesome stuff. Thanks. Wonky slush. My ex gave me a double-sided pocket pussy slash ass for Christmas. It just seems so much vulgar when you read it out loud, you know? It's, it's something that you type. You know, you're so comfortable tweeting pocket pussy. But you say it out loud, it just, it's got that, ugh, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna say it twice. My ex gave me a double-sided pocket pussy slash ass for Christmas since I was flying home from college and wouldn't see her for a while. I put the quote pussy in my backpack figuring I'm gonna try it out when I get home and don't wanna dig through my stuff for it. I'm going through security as normal not thinking anything of it when my bag sets off the machine and I'm informed they have to search my bag and I couldn't help but laugh from the embarrassment when the two female agents pulled out both ends at the same time before putting it on the table. <laughs> you should have looked at him and been like, this feels like the start to a good movie, huh? All right, yeah, yeah, I'll take, I'll take it. My bad, my bad, my bad. Mind you, I had a line of people waiting to get through behind me. Did they all want to take a turn or, oh, right, TSA, right, right, right. And they could all see what happened in clear view. Luckily enough, I had forgotten I had some mushrooms in my bag and the pussy distracted them enough to not keep searching. <laughs> Wait. So you're gonna take shrooms and then fuck that thing up? You're trying to have a spiritual experience, man. That is, <laughs> it definitely sounds like a good way to celebrate uh, your return to college, you know? I think those two things combined could help you find the meaning of life. Oh look, it's some of your Tinder usernames. One man's trash. What's up, Noel and Noah? Damn, both of us. Nice. So Christmas was coming up and I forgot to get my younger cousin a gift. He was an annoying little shit, so I decided I would give him my old Is this the same guy? Does that guy in the last story in a relationship with his cousin? Did we just learn that right now? Wow. Things really do come full circle, don't they? I got a baby for Christmas. Cool. What's up, Noel? About three years ago, I was dating this chick who I did not see a future with at the time and was ready to break up with her. I decided to wait until after Christmas since I don't want to be that guy who breaks up with his girlfriend a week before the holidays. Fast forward Christmas day, I got her some socks and she handed me an envelope. She was all giddy and excited, which had me worried. I opened it and it's a picture of a pregnancy test that said positive. She goes on to explain how she found it a month ago and she wanted to keep it a surprise. We never planned to have babies. Three years later, we're married with a kid. Merry Christmas, I guess. <laughs> I want to hope that you're happily together and the future of this kid is is you know protected but <laughs> what did that look like you open that envelope and just <laughs> and she's on the other side of that paper like you said there was something you wanted to tell me i I won't, I won't be in town next week, but I, I, I at least wanted to, you know, get this out of the way. And uh, wh what was that that you wanted to tell me? Well, uh, yeah, you know, Merry Christmas, I guess. Weird Christmas party slash horny grandmas. Went to a holiday party for my job. Oh, I really like this story. Holiday parties always end up bad. For perspective, I'm a preschool teacher and the owners all invited us to their mansion. See, stop right there. Someone who's rich or someone who knows rich people, just in the comments, explain to us all, why did they buy schools? Is it a nonprofit thing? I, I'm just so curious. Anyway, all the owners invited us to their mansion for a white elephant gift exchange and dinner. I'm the youngest employee at 23 years old and everyone else is 60 plus years old. I pull up to the function with a fuzzy blanket wrapped up real nice. Do some small talk while eating pasta dinner and after they've all had a few strong ass margaritas, we get set up for the white elephant. I'm the last to pick the gift, but the first couple gifts are pretty lame anyway. The first lady picked a Santa statue, asked no one to steal it from her, to which everyone said, bitch, no one wants that shit. <laughs> At this point, these old ladies are faded as hell. A couple of lame gifts later, someone opens up a massager. I think one of those wand type deals. Ah, yeah, it's good for the back. All the ladies went nuts for that shit. <laughs> Immediately, they all want the gift. The ladies that haven't had their pick yet are ready to steal it. Uh, here's a few quotes from the grannies. When I steal that thing, I'll be spending the rest of the night in the bathroom. Ugh. <laughs> Damn. 
I just had a horrible image in my mind, dude. <laughs> she just starts going to work, and then, you know, it's old, man. It's, it's a little bit fossilized down there, and it just, you know, the sawdust just starts coming. <laughs> the skin cells turning into powder, just fucking... And it's just... <laughs> Quote, you won't see me on Christmas if I get that thing. Tell my grandbabies I'll be playing with bees in my bedroom or something. You know <laughs> I may need to call in on Monday to break that thing in. I have some cobwebs that need to be done. See, see, that's funny. That's, that's, it's my type of woman. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Oh, this is the worst one right here. If the kids stress me out at work, I'm hiding in the garden and pulling that bad boy out. What? They all fought for that thing and every gift thereafter was inspected to see uh, if it could do the same work. Super uncomfortable. They were all super wasted. And with me being pregnant and way too sober, I headed out early to go home and use my wand after. <laughs> no, she didn't say that. Uh, she did say she headed out early and it was weird stuff, which not really, you know, but I think what we've learned here is that the old age hits women just as hard as the men. You know? <laughs> they saw that shaking stick and they just give it to me. Unhappy meal. I have a gut feeling that there's something about divorce in here. Uh, which should be exciting to you all because then it'd be very relatable for noel and noah either 2011 or 2012 for christmas i got a happy meal from my neighbor after my dad got arrested wow but this was back when mcdonald's toys were the shit so i was actually pretty stoked about it christmas is also my mom's birthday so it was a really depressing day so basically woke up the christmas tree turned off my mom and sister crying my nuggets are kind of cold and my brother blasting Chief Keef. Christmas is my favorite holiday though. <laughs> that is actually a crazy ass visual. Cold ass chicken nuggets and a wife in despair with a decommissioned Christmas tree. You're all just sitting in sadness and all you hear in the background is, mm, that's that shit I don't like. <sighs> you were still bobbing your head though, I bet. Um, there's no way that that amount of sadness could have prevented you, which makes it even funnier to think that you were staring into that unhappy meal just oh sorry my bad mom <laughs> i laugh about my christmas gift this year so i don't cry my oldest sister wanted a three thousand dollar pc for christmas and was basically trying to force my dad and i to buy it for her and split the cost i refused so my dad gets this great idea he has our gifts figured out he calls me and tells me he will pay for my sister's computer in full and my christmas present will be not having to pay fifteen hundred for her gift so my sister has a brand new pc and i have daddy issues well we know who his favorite is right <laughs> <laughs> hi noah and other fuck you <laughs> next i'm not reading your story you're gonna come in here and disrespect me get the fuck out of here i hope your christmas is awful i hope you open a box and it's just a pile of dog shit <laughs> i hope santa pees in a cup and leaves that shit lid closed uh with a hand warmer inside just to make sure the piss is fresh when you open it i'm kidding i'm kidding that was a good bit but i'm seriously not reading your story so tough shit learning my mom can deep throat Damn, Merry Christmas. That's a good hub title. That would get a ton of clicks. Dear Noel and Noah, four years ago, my brother and I got some Kindles for Christmas. Uh, and my mom put the whole Kindle in. <laughs> hey, boys, check this out. Yeah. For us to use them, our parents had to log in with their Amazon accounts, meaning we could see everything they bought and had in their search history. So one day, my younger brother came to me and asked me what Deep Throat Spray was. <laughs> Oh man, it's to go to the doctor when they put the popsicle stick. Yeah. It took me a minute to register what he said because of how crazy that is. I then navigated to the shopping section of my Kindle and saw recently browsed, including the spray were, yeah, dildos, butt plugs. I went over to my older sister and she also lost her shit. Her solution was to look up a bunch of toys to banish that shit instead of just deleting the history. So then my brother and I were just frantically searching Nerf guns for the next half hour. I couldn't be in the same room as my parents for the next few days. Well, look, at least you know now that a wand would be a great Christmas gift for your mom. Thanks for tuning in. Happy holidays, everyone. Uh, I'll see you very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>